Hey, thanks for checking out this Gear Talk clip. This is Brandon talking about the new Shure Wireless SLXD. This is just a short segment from a larger episode we did with the Shure Systems team. If you want to check that out, check the link in the description below. Thanks. We have released SLXD, which is uh, the digital sort of uh, on-ramp into our professional wireless. Um, it is the most modestly priced. It's the entry-level product. Um, so here, you, you'll probably notice it looks a little bit like a, a QLXD, single-channel receiver, half-rack space. It's got the quarter-wave antennas. QLXD ships with the half-waves. We've got a body pack. We've got a handheld. Guys, let's take a look at the website here so you can see the whole product family. Uh, there's a dual-channel receiver as well. Uh, to go with the other components. Um, but like we said, replacement for SLX analog, SLXD. Um, Brandon, I want to talk about SLXD uh, in, in terms of uh, a new segment, a segment within a segment. This is the Russian doll of uh, Gear Talk segment. Babushka. Uh, what the spec? Um, I think there's some understandable confusion when you're looking at 10, 11, 12 different Sure wireless series a lot of them have D in the name, ULXD, QLXD, SLXD. They all uh, say world class. You know. they, they are all world class. Um, how do you differentiate uh, an important specification that, that you might just kind of run past when you're looking at all these different wireless systems? Certainly, obviously, cost is a big difference. But one thing that really kind of helps dictate why certain things cost more than others is tuning, tuning. bandwidth. Yeah, you should, you should really familiarize yourself with the tuning scale or the bandwidth that it's able to to put itself to where at the top of the line Axion Digital is a pure wideband product you can slip in and out of the spectrum wherever you need to over a hundred more 140 megahertz of space with Axion Digital right. right that's that options lanes on the freeway parking spots um, choices you can make to avoid interference correct one of the real hidden details when you're looking at a, a very, very low cost system, the the eight channel all in one karaoke extravaganza 199 system, real deep in that spec sheet is a is likely a very narrow tuning bandwidth. It's like 12 megahertz wide or eight megahertz wide. Sometimes a single channel system might even be fixed frequency or or very, very narrow. And why that's important is our primary source of interference is still a digital TV broadcast, KCET, KNBC, KPBS, and each one of those takes up a six megahertz chunk of spectrum. So if your system can only tune into eight megahertz or 10 megahertz, and maybe you're right on top of two TV channels, yep. you're sort of always going to have a, a, a bad experience because you're always competing with a direct source of interference. It's like two really large white trucks with massive tires taking all the parking and you've got no place to put your Prius. Uh, that, that's an audio gear Kyle and Kyle joke. Uh, we're, the, we're the Prius <laughs> segment of the audio gear team. There is a truck segment of the audio gear team. They're running the broadcast, so we don't want to poke too much fun. Sure. Uh, so that's a nice truck. Kyle. SLXD 34 megahertz tuning bandwidth digital RF scheme, whereas QLXD, ULXD, 64 megahertz bandwidth, okay? And, and SLX is going to drop below that at about half that. Yeah. You know, it, it's just the number of opportunities you have to get a channel online. As you move down in price point, the filtering sophistication moves down with it. That's one of the big ways they save cost. So when you ask us, what's the right wireless system for me? We typically ask you right back, how many channels on air do you need? And where are you? If, are, are you in LA or are you in Cheyenne, Wyoming? A beautiful place. Let, let's cut over to Chris nodding in approval for, for living in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. Radio, we call it radio free Wyoming. <laughs> there you Any go. tour can come here and work well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so when you need 50, 60, 70 channels on air, that is likely still a ULXD or Axiom digital task. When you need a rock solid 12, 16, 20 channels on air, um, certainly the ULXDs of the world will do that, but you might be able to use SLXD, save a little money, buy the right system for your needs.